alcoholic liver disease is one of the commonest diseases now you see in any hospital or any clinic. Every alternate patient in public health center and VHS is admitted with alcohol related disease. Every day I have been asked to see at least two patients in one floor of public health center, even including women. I am very sorry to say that. It is surprising. It is a fact. So before going into the slides, I may be pardoned if I read the slides. Can I have the hand mic? Hand mic. Yes. Next slide, please. So as you all know, alcohol is metabolized in the liver by alcohol dehydrogenase, acetic acid, and this is called nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide and NADH, and then replaces fatty acid as fuel, increased fatty acid level, increased triglyceride accumulation. The disulfuram acts here. It inhibits the alcohol dehydrate. And then it forms as an acetaldehyde. Acetaldehyde is a toxic substance which produces severe disulfuram alcohol reaction in the form of flushing of face, palpitation, fall in blood pressure, a sudden cardiac death can happen in the bar itself. So we give a form like an insulin people or like an anticonvulsant people, they carry an ID card. So we give a form that so and so is on disulfiram. If he takes alcohol, rush him to the nearest doctor, show this form what remedial measures can be taken. Next question. So after an acute isolated injection of a large dose of ethanol, that's called pinched thing. Some people, you know, after stopping for six months or after going to Tabari Malay for two months, verism, from November onwards, they observe verism or exactly they will break the verism after Madhra Sankaraji, come and start binge thinking. Large dose of ethanol, increased mobilization of fatty acids from the adipose tissue to the liver. Following chronic ingestion, there is an increased synthesis and decreased degradation of fatty acids in the liver. Next slide. Effects of alcohol and hepatocytes, effects on mitochondria, swelling of the mitochondria, there is a reduction in mitochondrial function, fatty acid and acetaldehyde oxidation is decreased, reduction in respiratory capacity and oxidative phosphorylation. Next slide. So, urocidriol in alcoholic fatty liver, we don't use much, to be very honest, as a psychiatrist, because this was promoted to prevent gallstones in the initial stages. Next slide. Cholestasis. That's why the stone formation happens. Due to TPN, due to cystic fibrosis, chronic graft versus host disease, miliary atresia, Alzheimer's syndrome, all these things I do not. Chronic cholestatic liver disease, primary miliary cirrhosis, primary sclerosing cholangitis chronic hepatitis and alcoholic liver disease, dissolution of cholesterol, microlis and gallstones. That is how initially it was promoted to dissolve gallstones. Later on, they promoted as what we call it as an off-label promotion. It can be used in alcoholic liver disease. Polycystic of pregnancy, acute viral hepatitis. Next slide please. The mode of action, it is hepatoprotective effect hypercholinistic effect, immunomodulatory effect, enrichment of bile force, antioxidant effect, anti-apoptosis is the self test effect and correct defective mechanism in cholestasis stimulates hepatocyte proliferation. Next slide. This is a flow chart they have given to show what happens in cholestasis toxic bile acid, membrane proliferation, <coughs> and then alcohol, CNF, tumor necrosis, receptor activation, ceramides release, hepatitis caused by virus, HLA class 1 antigen expression, T lymphocyte activity, and autoimmune anti-nuclear antibody apoptosis. Next slide. 
Pathogenesis of alcoholic liver disease and MOA of Euclid. Histology, cholestasis and jaundice are seen in all stages of alcoholic liver disease. Association of between, uh, thank you, the new youngster, because it's a nice message. Between enlargement of hepatocytes and cholestasis and serous. Bilateral concentration increase in 97% in alcoholic hepatitis. Three radicals can cause hepatocellular lesion, apoptosis and chronic and alcoholic liver Next slide. So this drug in alcoholic liver disease therapeutic effect as an anti-apoptotic. That is, it prevents the cell death, increase the levels of glutathione, superoxidase dismutase, catalyzed in alcoholic cirrhotic patients. Textbook reference on this particular drug, and then clinical gastroenterology, all those things is high plan for me. Next slide. Hepatoprotective effect of eusodium in alcoholic induced liver disease, hepatic mitochondria are one of the primary targets of ethanol induced injury. Ethanol causes enlargement and deformation of the mitochondria and affects mitochondrial function. Eusodium stabilizes the hepatocyte membrane and prevents mitochondrial damage. Eusodium binds phospholipids of the mitochondrial membrane and impedes ethanol penetration. This is all alleviate ethanol induced mitochondrial injury. So, in this drug in alcoholic fatty liver significantly reduces the serum levels of SGPT and SGOT. Of late, in the last five years, I see a lot of hepatologists and medical gastroenterologists use this drug. My practice is, unless otherwise, I am convinced I don't venture on a drug because one of my professors, Dr. Rajshaker, went in surgery and I presented a peptic ulcer case. He asked me what is the treatment my dear Dr. Mani? I said partial gastrectomy with bagotomy. Fantastic! Because it is not your son. <laughs> so I don't experiment drugs on others unless otherwise I gather information from the esteemed crowd and then gather the information Dakshnamuti says, Mani is nulla drug, the use per tipare. It is also increased in the HCA cholesterol levels. Next slide, please. Are these slides can be quickly run? This drug in alcoholic fatty liver reduces ethanol induced lipid disorders, hepatoprotective effects, and mitochondrial injury. HCA cholesterol levels are increased, facilitates lipid transport, direct hepatoprotective effects against alteration of membrane lipids by ethanol, ketosis and fat deposition, protecting and reversing mitochondrial injury, prevents, decreases of hepatic PGE2 levels, decreased action of cytokines. Next slide. In alcohol, hepatic, hepatic prostaglandin, all these things can be skipped. Skip, skip. And run through. So this significantly reduces markers of lipid peroxidation and normalizes the abnormal LFT. Cirrocidol induces clinico-morphological emission in 88% of the case. That's the important take-home message. Next slide. Skip, skip. So this drug in alcoholic liver disease reduces the expression of tumor necrosis factor and other cytokines induced by ethanol in hepatocytes and decrease in cytokine induced by toxicity. Erosidol prevents human necrosis factor induced apoptosis in hepatocytes. Erosidol inhibits ethanol induced apoptosis. Next. 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 This drug is a very user friendly drug. That much I can definitely say. Because a lot of people who are working in the field of medical gastroenterology and hepatology unit, they are used extensively for alcoholic liver disease and it gives a good research. Thank you.